Now to a story that's certain to get you hot and bothered. The Texas Academy of Science recently gave its top honor to a University of Texas biologist who says the Earth would be better off if 90% of the human population was wiped out. Professor Eric Bianca says people have grown fat, apathetic, and miserable. He predicts a disease like the Ebola virus will give the human population a much-needed correction. Here to talk about his doomsday scenarios from Austin, Texas, Professor Eric Bianca. Professor, thanks for coming on. Thank you. It sounds like you don't like people very much, describing uh, the Earth as wildly overpopulated and saying we'd be better off if 90% died. Do you hate people? No, I don't hate people. Then why would the Earth be better off if 90% of us were dead? I didn't say 90%, but there are too many of us on this Earth. Okay. The 90% was somebody else's number. What, what percentage do you think would be good to reduce the human population by? We need to get down to sustainable levels. We passed those back in the 80s. But people are still living here, and they're being sustained by definition. Uh, if well, they're alive, so why do we need to kill people off? Or why is it good that people die? I'm not advocating any kind of uh, homicide or anything. Right. I've been misquoted and abused, and my words and views have been distorted and twisted okay. by fools. Well, you have an opportunity now to tell us your, your views directly. There are too many of us on this earth, and we are taking too much of the earth and too many habitats. And there are more people on this earth than earth can support. And there were 25 years ago. Right. There are far more people now that, than there were on earth 25 years ago. That's right. But those people are being sustained perfectly well. Oh, well, half of them are starving, and they don't have access to food or fresh water. Do you call that being sustained? Well, half, half people on Earth are, in fact, not starving. I, I mean, that's, that's a completely made-up st uh, statistic. I don't, oh. don't know where you got it. But well, no, people, people in India and Bangladesh and Pakistan and Afghanistan and Africa right. are in very bad shape. Right. There's a lot of misery in the world, no doubt about that. Would it be better if those people were dead? I'm not saying anything like that. Don't try to put words in my I, mouth. I'm not. I'm merely asking a question. The point of my talk, which has been widely distorted and misinterpreted, was that, there, that we have taken too much of the surface of the earth and that we're not leaving anything for anything else. I'm an ecologist. Right. I need, I need wild animals in pristine natural environments to study my discipline. And we are destroying those at an incredible rate and we haven't stopped. Right. And we're now, humans are now using half of the surface of the earth and half of the, more than half the fresh water and half of the solar energy that hits this earth that means we've less, left only half of it for all the other denizens of this planet yes there are a lot that's, of people that's pretty they, greedy well, it may absolutely be but i guess ordinary people normal people look at that scenario and say that's right the animals may be getting shortchanged here you may be absolutely right about that but on the other hand you have people being born children growing up to be adults i mean that's a good thing people are good right it's good to have people around children are good you look at it and you say you, you describe uh... the people on this earth um, as useless you describe this as a fat biomass um, I don't, know, I don't know if i actually said that or if those are words that were uh... attributed to me okay. but uh, i have two granddaughters and i'm very concerned for their future i'm not sure in eighteen years what it's going to look like, but it's going to be awful. You're quoted here, one of the most controversial uh, quotes from this address that you gave, it's been quoted in a lot of places, is about disease, and you're talking about the various naturally occurring diseases that could, could thin the herd, basically. Um, you're talking about Ebola, and then you said, HIV is too slow, it's no good. Most people think HIV you know, isn't bad because it's too slow, it's bad because it kills people. What did you mean by that? We are an epidemic waiting to happen and because we're so mobile and so dense we can get on airplanes and fly right. across oceans no, I think, uh, disease is going to spread fast and the people who've studied this the epidemiologists that, that's a common view, and medical I mean, people that's... are very very concerned Absolutely. about the next pandemic I, I think probably everyone in america knows that the, the, the difference is you seem to be saying that was a good thing let, let me ask I'm, you... I'm not saying anything is good i'm saying if we don't control our population the microbes right. will Professor, thanks a lot for joining us. I appreciate it. Professor Eric Bianca from Austin, Texas. Thanks.